All right, there's a bunch of cool stuff pulling in. So we're gonna get the live going here. I thought your car was a, a Ford at first. What year is your is a Chevy, right? 35 Chevy. A 35, okay. I thought it was a 34 at first. Yeah, she was born in 35. <laughs> Very cool. She's all wood wrapped in steel. All wood wrapped in steel. You did such a really cool job doing all the lights and, I mean, all the, like, accessories and stuff with the lights inside and the outside and the engine compartments. It looks really cool. Second attempt, first attempt, it melted. <laughs> did it really? Where did you, did you put them somewhere different? I put them in the same spot, but I, the first time I routed the, the, the wires, I got too close to headers and you melted the wires. Oh, uh, okay. So I had to reroute the wires differently, and then I have LED lights underneath the. Oh, the they're under here. I didn't even realize they're under here, too. Yeah, full side, so. Where are the wires for these? They ran here, underneath this. Uh, here. Oh, that way. oh okay. <laughs> so. That's cool. Well, you did a good job hiding them. Thank you. <laughs> but she has, uh, she's all wood. The floorboard, the cowling, the doors, the porch <laughs> open, the uh, doors. Um, you never know it. Board, everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. you never know that. Um, every, about every month I have to go back with my nail, or my uh, punch and my hammer and just put all the nails back in the spot. Uh, <laughs> screws, yeah. Uh, yeah. But she's all original. There's no, there's no fiberglass, nowhere. It's all steel. Wow. So, in the back here, all the nails here. Oh, yeah. Um, feel this hood. Feel that. Oh, Jesus. Wow, that's really heavy. It's all wood inside. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the few times that I've seen it, I mean, the the way that you've done the lighting and stuff, just it just looks really cool when you leave it on at night, you know, or when you come in early in the morning. It looks really cool. And I like, I really like that you have like a, like 80s, 90s style boy wheels the on it. Fourth still. edition boy wheels. Yes. Yeah, I really like. I those. want to get rid of them, but I've had people say, no, 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 no. They're a collect now. They're like a collection piece. Yeah. Uh, did don't you, get rid of them. Did you buy those recently, or are they older style wheels? Um, I bought this car in Georgia, uh huh, uh, in a museum, and uh, it was trucked out on a NASCAR trailer. Um, three weeks after I bought it, and uh, it came pretty much as is, but there was a lot of work to be done on it. Uh, mm -hmm. It leaked like a sieve. <laughs> it did. It did. Uh, the brake pedals were reversed, which means that the brake pedal and the throttle uh, pedal was so close together that when I hit the brake, I actually hit the throttle, almost <laughs> T-boned the car in my track. So that had to be had to be addressed. Um, transmission leaked. Uh, the brakes were, were all jacked up, wiring was messed up, broken window, uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff uh, need to be looked at, so. I bet. And uh, were you kind of looking for a 35 Chevy, That you were looking for something that wasn't like a, a hot rod Ford, or were you just kind of look, looking for like a project at the time? Uh, Good question. Um, I was going through something 
five years ago that I need something to refocus what, what I was going through. Yeah, I see. And this was an avenue to get through, get me through it. And um, I want something to work on, some some take my mind away what I was going through, mm -hmm. and this was it. Um, granted, I didn't think I was going to go this extreme. But <laughs> I didn't kind of far. Something to refocus your your chi. <laughs> yeah. So um, I like I like the Chevy. Um, people think it's Ford. I have Ford right. tail lights. Right. But uh, you'll walk by. Most people will walk by it that are car people and think it's a Ford. Right. Yeah. Um, I like the Ford and the uh, what's easy top eliminator. I like yeah, that car totally. And. Um, I just like the style. I like the three window coupe. I fell in love with the engine. And after I saw it on the on the web, I said, you know what? That looked good in my garage. So after talking to the guy who was selling it, we negotiated with the price and I wanted the money and three weeks later it popped out of the trailer and there it is. But uh, it needed some TLC. Yeah, sounds and, like uh, it. So I rebuilt the blower. We put new trans or uh, rebuilt the transmission, new carburetor. Uh, so and added your own little touches to it. I added some touches. I'm the third owner. Uh, the guy who built the car, he built funny cars in Delaware. And um, but every owner adds some little nuance to the car. And. At some point, when I get rid of it, I suppose a new owner will put something else to it. The interior is over 20 years old. Um, I have a Corvette rear end, Mustang front end. Those are cut down Fiero, Fiero seats from a from a Pontiac. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of you know it's been cut down four inches on the on the on the uh, A pillar. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know it, it's been gone through a little bit. So, yeah, but right now I like driving it, taking the car shows and putting around town with it. Um, yeah, that's cool. I like it. What's your name, by the way? Jim. Jim. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you, I've, sir. I've seen you a couple times, but I, don't, I didn't know your um, I don't know. One time it had a hood on it. Oh, did it? It looks cool. It looks, it looks cooler without a hood. Well, if I had a hood, it would, it, it, it would hide the engine. Right, yeah. And uh, they got T-boned about uh, 15 years ago, and that's the reason why it doesn't have a hood. Right. And I wanted to get a hood with, you know, pinstriping across the front of it, but if I had a hood, it would hide all this. Yeah. And so... And it would lose a little bit of its personality. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Very cool. I think I'm going to turn off my lights, even though they're LED. They keep... Yeah. Awesome. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. Cruise around a little bit. We should not see any of these. Nice Thunderbird. Good morning from Sacramento. What's going on, Sacramento? I was thinking like sweet furred. <laughs> We're looking for a truck right here too. Cool hot rod just parked right here too. Cool little motorcycle just rolled in. Saw Lou cruise in in the Willys. What's happening, sir? How you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it does. Looks cool, gold.
Good looking cool gold hot rod. I like it. What's the shifter? What's in the shifter? Well, when you bypass the other switch, it has a left and right tank. Spent too much time on vehicles. Shifter in there. Right. Let's go check out Lou's Willis. Now you know what? I'm center coming here around. Acid reflux. Hey, morning. What's happening? What's happening? How are you? Made it again. Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see yeah, you. Yeah, made it last, last time I made it home on a flatbed. <laughs> <laughs> what happened that time? Oh, uh, just something with the fuel. It was like running. It was running out of fuel, but I think it was the tank wasn't finished. So. Oh, got it. Got it figured out. Got it. That's cool. What kind of engine? Oh yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, is it a Hamish? Louis Willis? Did you redo these? Yeah. Yeah. Did you just did you just tint them? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the looks good. Yeah. It's, it's probably going to be about the color of this uh, Mustang right here, this gold. Yeah. So that's kind of the idea. Yeah. It looks. I think it I looks know good. What you're talking about. Looks good. Which one? The old gold. Oh yeah. 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 It was up in the northwest. Uh, it got campaigned a lot up there. It was, uh, it was pretty. <laughs> Looks really good. Dave, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Let's jump on. On the loose. Yeah. Whoa. Want to get my grab a coffee? All right. Guy. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, it's really cool. I love. Last time he was here, he didn't have the windows tinted, or like you know, yellowed out or whatever. It it really kind of makes it pop. And he didn't have the number written on the side. It it kind of like changes the attitude of the car a little bit, you know. That, that, that gold gold colored window looks awesome. Yeah, it does. It looks cool. And he just like you know, just tinted it like that too, you know. Yeah. It's not hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. It's, it's pretty impressive. It's so cool, you know. <laughs> David. Yep. I'm going to get it done. Excuse me, sir. Walk around it here. He just left you. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he said. I don't. I think he said. I don't think. He said he hasn't had a cooling problem yet, but I know he. It's like tiny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's probably a four core. I was gonna say a four or five core. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like this big. <laughs> That's a, yeah. It's like a little, it's like out of a motorcycle, it looks like. <laughs> Two carburetors are bigger than that, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's, it's really cool, though. <laughs> you guys want to walk down the, the mill aisle first here? Cool Thunderbird. Josh says Nimbo. Let's go check out this uh, Pantera. That's something you don't see a ton of. Morning from Ohio. 
What's going on, Ohio? Cool Pantera. Morning from Michigan. Gary, what's going on? Try to love a cool Pantera. <laughs> Giant wing on that. Oops. Really like the Nova right next to it too. Manual setup, fixed seats, a little patina action going on there. LS. Really nice. Hello from Tennessee. See you guys May 18th. Nice, Josh. Awesome. And before he leaves, we want to go over and make sure you do a little round around uh, Kip 67. Steve Jones. Gentleman that used to come here every weekend. Kip purchased it when he passed. Repainted and did a little restore on it. And here it is again. Make sure we get a little uh, video of that. Here into the second gen, right? Corvettes. Doesn't get much nicer than that. Good morning from my doomsday bunker. I'll check back in 10 years. Edward. <laughs> well, I hope you are doing well from your doomsday bunker. Good morning. Sorry, sir. Seconds on this.
this real quick. Yell at me if he wants to. All right, An Anglia. Jesus wasn't politically correct either. Oh, all right. You know what? This is great. Jesus wasn't politically correct either. I like it. <laughs> Nothing sick. Nice Chevelle. Like wow. Good looking, Good morning. I like uh, I like the sticker on the back of the Anglia. It says Jesus wasn't politically correct either. You know, some of it. Really, it's pretty funny. You should go check it out. <laughs> That's good. I like all the uh, funny stickers that people have. I like this old automobile too. Wow, what is going on here? I love Sean's truck too. Wow, look at this. Damn. This thing's nice. It's dirty, but it's cool. <laughs> it's dirty, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm assuming it's yours? Yeah, it's mine. Okay, is it really yours? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's dirty, but it's cool. <laughs> You're so nonchalant about it. It's dirty, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> I love the uh, address finders. <laughs> it's really nice. I like it. More than more than Benjamin. I love the skirt on it too. It's dirty, but it's cool. <laughs> there you go. It's only a lot inside the bus. I wonder if you still got your bus, right? Nah, no deal, Alabama. 6 30. <laughs> Beautiful color. What are the buttons down there on the cup holders, I wonder? Pontiac. See a Pontiac? Where do we see Pontiac? Where did you see a Pontiac? This is the ranch, this is ranchero country over here. Tom, what's up, what's up? Just another beautiful day. Auto Butch is running through. What is going on there?
I need to know about that CD rack. There's a CD rack in the back of that car. <laughs> Why is this bus back here again? I'm taking the kids. I need to follow this car because there's like a interesting CD rack over here. What's up, Alan? How you doing? Oh, good, morning. Good, good, good morning. Oh, he's leaving? Oh, man. Darn. Oh. He's out of here, huh? He's out, he's out. Nice Zeta. But normally it's a four speed with, with reverse, so. Were there three of you in this Izetta? Huh? Were there three of you in three this Izetta? Yeah. Wow. Well, this is the long one. This is the 600. So you got. Oh, this is the larger seats. one. <laughs> it's the limo. The limo. <laughs> That's awesome. This thing's cool. This is the larger one. Because they made, they made two different models of this? Yeah, so this was made from 58 to 60, uh -huh. and uh, it's got the twin 600 out of the motorcycle, and this, the regular I said it just had a single in the back. Got it. It made about 30,000 of these, whereas the regular I said it made 300,000 of them. What did it sell for? Hmm? Um, they think they were $2,600. You should sell your car and buy a Porsche. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> you should sell your car and buy a Porsche. Your, oh. your, your van, I should say. <laughs> what do you think? I had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a 